Describing black and white platformer Sometimes You Die is surprisingly tough. Reducing it to its mechanical elements does the concept a disservice. However, recounting the journey runs the risk of ruining the various twists and meta-commentaries contained within it. It asks you to think about what a game is, what you consider fun, and what you're prepared to endure in the name of entertainment. That may sound a bit pretentious, and at its heart Sometimes You Die is just that, but it's none the worse for it. Mechanically, it's a simple platformer. You move a black square left or right through a series of single-screen areas to reach an exit. If you die by hitting a cluster of spikes, for example, you leave the corpses of your failure on screen. This allows you to create makeshift platforms out of your former incarnations to help you solve each puzzle. You can attempt to die accurately, impaling yourself on a spike and then respawning and leaping off the platform your corpse created. Alternatively, you can use a blunt force approach, killing yourself time and time again until the mound of dead forms a climbable hill. As you move through the monochrome screens, you'll notice lines of text in the background. These offer some insight into what the developer was thinking during the design process. As you progress further, these thoughts start to question you directly, querying why you're playing and what you're willing to put up with. Sometimes you die is not difficult, at least not at first. The ways in which the death mechanic is employed means that most puzzles can be overcome with a little patience. It was only when we found ourselves at the end of the game, after an entertaining but short 15 minutes, that we discovered a whole new world of problems and challenges. While Sometimes You Die offers entertaining puzzles, it's the questions it poses and how it manipulates your expectations that are the real draw. To fully explain these would be to ruin what the game has in store for you. However, we can say it's certainly worth a look if you want a platformer that tests your perceptions as well as your reflexes. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.